take your time setting up into the position. Always look at the back of the ball here. And as you look at this point here, just turn your head to the left, trace the line down towards the hole, keeping everything rock solid. Keep your knees solid. If you think of keeping your knees solid, that takes care of a lot of other body positions that aren't supposed to move. It's kind of restrictive, nice feeling of, sol of being solid but without a stiffness creeping in because it's not a part that's supposed to move anyway but just the thought of having your knees nice and firm keeps it really solid especially with the wider stance especially being crouched and especially when it's a windy day it's really easy to deal with wind that way now I mentioned earlier how it's not a right hand hit on these short putts. We're gonna do a drill here to strengthen the left wrist and make it more of a pulling the putter through towards the hole. So, left hand only if you're a right-handed putter. Hold it in your left hand. Again, it's exactly the same position you'd be in with both hands on the putter. Left hand only, looking in the same position, looking down the line, lining it up, it's going to feel quite strange this, it's going to feel very weak. You're going to want to hit it like this where the putter finishes way outside your hand line and wrist line. We want to try and use the left hand only in a way that the left wrist doesn't break down, dragging it through. Almost feel as if you're introducing an ever so slight flail like so to the stroke. So once in position you can put the finger down the shaft like I'm doing just to strengthen it. Notice how I got my left finger more down the shaft. When I've got my left hand on normally with the right hand, it's in this position. But just to steady the ship and to feel like the left wrist is really the focus, you can put your left finger down the shaft. Again, nice and low on the handle. Aim it. And drag it through. Now here's a good thing as well you'll notice. You'll notice that you'll make some really solid putts with the ball hitting the back of the hole. You'll do that even with a backswing that might be outside a little bit, might be pulled inside a little bit, picked up. In other words, quite an ugly backswing, but because you've committed to a positive strike where you're dragging the putter through, like dragging through almost that little flail, and don't be alarmed if you do develop a slight flail. I don't think that's a bad thing. You'll see how solid it is and how important that follow through is in making these short putts. When you finish on these ones with one, when you're putting with one hand only, notice how the putter finishes, still pointing relatively squarely at 90 degrees to the hole. This is obviously another good thing. Remember I said earlier, I said earlier about the putting stroke where you've got your arms and, and putter in a triangle action. Now, rocking of the shoulders and a, and a putter in that sort of standing tall method you'll find as it traces down the line the face opens and closes and you've only got that split second the room for error is much much smaller so when you're putting with one hand only you'll notice that you can get away with a wonky backswing and then the dragging through introducing that slight flail is not a bad thing you can make solid putts even with sometimes a suspect backswing just because you've committed just because you've got strength in the left wrist and you've committed to following through and you'll notice that the putter will stay squarer for much longer through the target area. That's got to be a plus. Mm -hmm.